when she only loves you when she's around you, do this. When someone only loves you when they are around you, it raises questions about the authenticity of their feelings. True love is not bound by physical proximity or temporary circumstances, it is a deep and lasting connection that transcends time and space. If someone's love for you is contingent upon their presence in your life, it may indicate a lack of genuine affection. You deserve to be loved unconditionally, with someone who cherishes you even when they are not physically present. Settling for a love that is only temporary or conditional will only lead to heartache and disappointment in the long run. If you find yourself in a situation where someone only loves you when they are around you, it is crucial to have open and honest communication about your needs and expectations. Express your concerns and feelings, and give the other person an opportunity to respond. However, it is also important to be prepared for the possibility that they may not be capable of providing the kind of love and commitment you deserve. 2. Evaluate the quality of the relationship. When someone's love for you is dependent on physical proximity, it may be a sign of an unhealthy or unstable relationship. Take a step back and evaluate the overall quality of your connection. Are there other aspects of the relationship that are lacking or causing you distress? Consider whether this person truly values you for who you are as an individual, or if they are primarily focused on their own needs and desires. A healthy relationship is built on mutual respect, trust, and support. If these elements are missing, it may be time to re-evaluate whether this relationship is truly fulfilling for you. One important aspect to consider is communication. Do you feel comfortable expressing your thoughts, concerns and emotions with your partner? Are they actively listening and responding in a supportive and understanding manner? Effective communication is vital for a healthy relationship as it allows both partners to express themselves and work through any challenges or conflicts that may arise. Another factor to evaluate is the level of emotional intimacy in the relationship. Are you able to be vulnerable and open with your partner? Do they reciprocate this level of emotional intimacy? Emotional intimacy involves feeling safe and secure in sharing your deepest thoughts and feelings with your partner. If you find that your emotional needs are not being met or that your partner is not willing to reciprocate this level of vulnerability, it may be a sign of an unhealthy dynamic. Additionally, consider if the relationship is balanced in terms of power and decision-making. Are both partners able to contribute equally to the relationship and have their voices heard? A healthy relationship should be based on equality and cooperation, where decisions are made together and both partners have an equal say. If you find that one partner consistently dominates the decision-making process or disregards the opinions and desires of the other, it may be a sign of an unhealthy power dynamic. Lastly, assess how the relationship impacts your overall well-being. Do you feel happy, supported and fulfilled when you are with your partner? Or do you often feel drained, anxious or unhappy? A healthy relationship should enhance your life and contribute positively to your overall well-being. If you consistently feel negative emotions or find that the relationship is causing you more harm than good, it may be time to re-evaluate whether it is truly serving your best interests. 3. Communicate openly and honestly. Communication is key in any relationship. If you find yourself in a situation where someone's love for you is conditional, it is important to have an open and honest conversation with them. Express your concerns and feelings and give them an opportunity to explain their own perspective. During this conversation, pay attention to their reactions and willingness to address the issue. Are they receptive to your concerns or do they dismiss them? Are they willing to work on the relationship and make necessary changes or do they show resistance? Their response will provide valuable insights into their commitment to the relationship and their willingness to grow together. It is crucial to create a safe space for open and honest communication. This means actively listening to each other without judgment and being willing to have difficult conversations. It may be helpful to establish some ground rules for communication, such as using I, statements to express feelings instead of blaming the other person, during the conversation, it is important to be vulnerable and share your own needs and boundaries. This will help create a foundation of trust and understanding. It is also important to validate each other's feelings and experiences, even if you may not fully agree with them. Remember that communication is a two-way street. It is not just about expressing your own concerns, but also about actively listening to the other person's perspective. Ask open-ended questions to encourage them to share their thoughts and feelings. 
This will help foster empathy and promote a deeper understanding of each other. After the initial conversation, it is important to continue to communicate regularly and check in with each other. This will help ensure that both parties are actively working towards building a healthy and unconditional love. Regular communication can also help address any issues or concerns that may arise in the future, preventing them from escalating into bigger problems. Overall, open and honest communication is essential in navigating a relationship where love is unconditional. It allows both parties to express their needs, concerns and boundaries while fostering trust, understanding and growth. 4. Prioritize your own emotional well-being. Ultimately, your emotional well-being should be your top priority. If someone only loves you when they are around you, it can be emotionally draining and detrimental to your self-esteem. It is important to recognize your own worth and not settle for a relationship that does not fulfill you. Take time to reflect on what you truly want and need in a relationship. Surround yourself with people who love and support you unconditionally. Seek professional help if necessary, such as therapy or counseling, to navigate through the complexities of your emotions and make informed decisions for your own happiness. When prioritizing your emotional well-being, it is crucial to establish healthy boundaries in your relationships. This means setting clear expectations and communicating your needs effectively. If someone only loves you when they are around, it may be a sign of an unhealthy dynamic. By prioritizing your own emotional well-being, you are acknowledging that you deserve love and respect at all times, not just when it is convenient for the other person. Additionally, practicing self-care is essential for maintaining your emotional well-being. This can involve engaging in activities that bring you joy and relaxation, such as exercising, meditating or pursuing hobbies. Taking care of your physical health can also have a positive impact on your emotional well-being, as the mind and body are interconnected. Remember, you are worthy of a relationship where you are loved and valued consistently, regardless of whether the other person is physically present or not. Prioritizing your own emotional well-being means recognizing your own worth and not settling for anything less than what you deserve. 5. Consider moving on. If, after careful consideration and open communication, the situation does not improve, it may be necessary to consider moving on from the relationship. It can be difficult to let go of someone we care about, but staying in a relationship that is not fulfilling or healthy can hinder our personal growth and happiness. Remember that you deserve to be loved unconditionally and to have a relationship that brings you joy and fulfillment. Trust in your own instincts and make choices that align with your values and well-being. When contemplating whether to move on from a relationship, it is important to reflect on the reasons why you are considering this step. Are you constantly feeling unhappy, unfulfilled, or even mistreated? Do you find yourself compromising your own values and beliefs just to maintain the relationship? These are significant factors to consider when evaluating the overall health and potential future of the relationship. It is also crucial to assess whether you have made efforts to communicate your concerns and needs to your partner. Open and honest communication is the foundation of any successful relationship, and it is important to give your partner the opportunity to understand your perspective and work towards finding a resolution. However, if despite your efforts, the situation remains unchanged or continues to deteriorate, it may be a sign that the relationship is no longer serving your best interests. Moving on from a relationship can be a challenging and emotional process. It is normal to feel a sense of loss, sadness, and even uncertainty about the future. However, it is important to remember that letting go of a relationship that is not fulfilling or healthy can create space for new opportunities, personal growth, and ultimately a chance to find a relationship that truly brings you happiness and fulfillment. During this process, it can be helpful to seek support from trusted friends, family members, or even a therapist. They can provide a listening ear, offer guidance, and help you navigate through the emotions and decisions that come with ending a relationship. Additionally, engaging in self-care activities such as exercise, journaling, or pursuing hobbies can help you process your emotions and regain a sense of self-worth and confidence. Remember, you deserve to be in a relationship that brings you joy, fulfillment, and supports your personal growth. Trust yourself and have faith that the right relationship is out there waiting for you. Moving on from a relationship that no longer serves you is not a sign of failure, but rather a courageous step towards creating a life that aligns with your values and happiness.